loves welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel uh today's video is all about breakfast uh ideas and uh, dinner ideas yeah so i want to show you what i prepared uh, for breakfast on this particular day and dinner so i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, please remember to like and subscribe <music> The first breakfast item I'm going to begin with is my baby's porridge. I always begin with porridge so that I can give it time to cool down. Uh, by the time she wakes up, you find that it's ready and cool. Yeah, so when I'm done with the porridge, I'll move to the next items. This porridge flour is homemade. It includes cassava and uh, finger millet. A hack for avoiding lumps in your porridge is to always stir the mixture until uh, you see it boiling or until that porridge starts to boil and uh, after that you give that a 5 to 10 minutes um, boil. For better tasting tea, I always boil my tea for a long time. I let it boil for quite some time, maybe 15 minutes after it starts to boil. Yeah. Oh 
for today the main item for this video is minced meat guys it's time for minced meat and some spaghetti yeah so before that i want to prepare some fermented porridge for my family they love the porridge so so much when the weather is not vibing like today's weather it's a bit cold we do porridge in the afternoons and evenings before dinner yeah so i already shared the recipe for the fermented porridge this is how it looks when it's fermented yeah so the link is in the description box you can watch that uh, detailed video so i want to cook this to share the ingredients before anything else so let's see our ingredients so for the ingredients we have our main item and that is our minced meat over here we have our diced onions we have our two medium tomatoes blended we have our hohos or capsicum or green peppers we have our diced carrots over here we have our mixture of garlic and ginger and uh, the hoho seedlings Ama seeds zahoho all crushed together and then we have our minji or peas or green grams and then we have our potatoes right here spaghetti of course on this end cooking just kidogo and then we have a garlic powder we have garam masala we have oil and then we have our soy sauce that is what we're going to use Yishe. yeah and salt of course and also almost forgot our nor cube yeah beef nor cube perfect for stews so in our sufria we're going to add our minced meat right there we have a bone there because i uh, decided to buy meat and then ask them to be, uh, miss it for me for freshness guys I usually do that that's a hack for you always ask for meat once they cut it then they miss it for you if you just go and ask for minced meat quite the normal butcheries they give you okay you know what i mean guys <laughs> so we're going to have some of this uh mixture all this paste yeah so i'm going to have some Yeah, and put that in there. And then, so next we're going to add our soy sauce. Put 
just like a tablespoon and then we add some water so just a little bit of water because uh, minced meat once it has been minced that meat has been tenderized already and um, the reason why i added the garlic and ginger paste is because ginger helps in tenderizing meat yeah that's my reason so we cover this and then let that boil until it cooks no salt yet because salt hardens meat As our meat is cooking on this side we're going to boil our minji on this other side this is washed minji i washed it so I put that into our sufuria and then add hot water guys hot water add hot water and then add salt in there mix that cover guys the reason for adding hot water into minji uh, or peas and salt is to de uh, avoid discoloration yes there are so several hacks for discoloration yeah there is bicarbonate of soda they reuse a baking powder and there is this one this one is so natural baking powder and bicarbonate of soda sometimes can cause acidity and uh, when maybe you're giving a baby this food you don't need so much acid in it yeah so that's why i use salt and uh, hot water in boiling minji so i'll let that boil until that is cooked so this meat is ready After the peas have cooked, I always pass them through cold water to avoid further cooking and uh, that also helps in discoloration. And so guys, this is going to sound funny, but <laughs> I made a mistake of putting those minjis or those peas in my baby's bowl. This is her feeding bowl. My God. <laughs> when I was cooking, uh, I realized the peas or the minjis went missing. Guess what? My three-year-old took them and she ate them all. For the minced meat, I'm going to put some oil in my pan and then I will add my onions. Fry these onions until they are uh, golden brown or even uh, translucent. Yeah. And then I'm going to go in with my garlic and ginger paste. Remember the garlic and ginger paste had uh, these uh, capsicum seeds. They're really yummy in food. Yeah. So I'm going to fry these onions and this garlic and ginger paste until I gain that uh, golden brown color. Yeah, and then I'll add the rest of the ingredients.
for minced meat it's uh, always good when you use a blended tomatoes if you don't have a blender you can boil the tomato uh, as whole as it is in water and then remove the skin and then slice it for you not to have those you know skin After cooking this stew for 15 to 20 minutes, I'm going to check on my potatoes to confirm if they're ready. Just pick one potato and then press it and you'll be able to see if uh, it's ready. Once that is done, I'm going to add my capsicum and my carrots. Yeah, at this point my minji would have come in but you know, that happened. So I always love my capsicum crunchy and my carrots crunchy in my food. So that's why I'm adding them at the end. For the spaghetti, I'm going to add a lot of hot water in my pan. A lot of it, guys. Yeah, we need those uh, spaghetti floating in that water. We boil them until they're almost done. Not really done, but almost done. So in there, I'm going to add uh, salt. That is salt. And then I'm going to add garlic powder for taste. Clear. 
after my spaghetti is cooked i'm going to drain that uh, water all of it and then i'm going to pass cold water in this uh, spaghetti yeah to cool it down kabisa kabisa cool it down yeah to avoid tangling give it time i know that i'm not easy this cold heart of mine she really took a beating before you For the spaghetti, I'm keeping it simple. I'm just uh, frying these onions in oil until I achieve the golden brown color. And then I'll add my spaghetti in there. For you, there is nothing I wouldn't do. For you, there is nothing I wouldn't do. For you, for you, for you. There's just something good with coriander stalks. I had to add them here and then later garnish this uh, spaghetti with the coriander leaves. cooking and the food has turned out amazing someone is laughing at me <laughs> the food is really yummy here's the food let me tell you something guys what? Mm. this is too sweet this is too good okay so you can try this recipe if you've never tried any of my recipes please try them out they are really nice and uh, please like this video remember to subscribe if you've not subscribed for those who are coming back i love you so much remember to share the video i'll see you in the next video bye bye